Good afternoon, family. How y'all doing? It's your boy, Divine Messenger, here with another message. And understand, yeah, this one right here is going to definitely head home because I know a lot of you are, you know, saying druggies and clubbies and junkheads and all that. And if you ever wonder what the underworld looks like, literally, go to the club and you will see mindless programs is dancing to low vibrational music. Low vibrational music. I guess I'm talking so fast. But I'll just be excited about this because it's like, bro, this shit's pathetic. And people are so sleep, they can't even be accustomed to what's really going on. You, you get what I'm saying? And I, I won't say that all these clubs and parties aren't, you know what I'm saying, low vibrational, low vibrational music. But majority of the time, it is 440 hertz. Now, there are some clubs that do have higher frequency music, but that's rare. I ain't never been to no club that plays 532 hertz music or 777 hertz music. If you know where that is at, show me. But don't show me because I don't want to go. But a lot of y'all got to understand. The club, the parties, that shit will get old. Once you awaken from the simulation, once you awaken from the matrix. And mind you, if you cannot understand what I am saying, get out of this video. You can't. You're not on my frequency. So you cannot relate to what I'm saying. This message will literally sound like Ebonics to you. So we'll see you later. Talking about chosen ones out there. Talking about beautiful spiritual beings on their spiritual awakening journey. The club will get old to you. Drinking and smoking will get old to you. The same friends that say, hey, let's go to the club. Hey, let's, hey, let's go drink. Hey, let's go smoke. Hey, let's go do this. Let's, let's go hang out with these people. I don't want to do that today. And then guess what? They'll be like, okay, you're acting weird. What? I'm weird because I don't want a club? We done clubbed five days in a row. And then guess what? Your, your friends will be like, okay, let's make it six. Come on, you only got one life to live. What if I want to rest? What if I want to read the Bible? What if I want to meditate? What if I, <laughs> ew. What if I want to meditate? What if I want to reach my higher self today? What if I want to learn about how to escape this simulation? What if I want to free my mind from a program? They be like, what? Come on, man. No, get out your room. Let's go do something. You're always in your room. Yeah. That, that, that's what friends will do. Your friends want to see you better yourself, but guess what? They want you to be there for them because they are afraid of being alone. They want to do things that are popular to robots, to demons. That's what demons will do. So if you go to the, so you want to go to an underworld, go to the club, go to a party, and you will see mindless programs, mindless zombies that have no idea what they're doing, but they're just dancing, they're celebrating. Celebrating what? Celebrating what? What did you achieve? You just seen this same motherfucker four days ago, probably four days in a row, and you're not tired of seeing them? Oh, you wanna get, or oh, you wanna hook up? Oh, okay. And that's the crazy part. Hookup culture is so easy now. It's, it's like, bro, if you can't, if you can't fuck on a thought in this generation, you're, 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 you're hideous. You hear this, you have no sauce, you have no game, and you're pathetic. And that's your fault. No offense to you, my brother. But that's okay, though. It's not meant for you. Let me go and lock these doors and turn the lights down low. You get what I'm saying? But realize that it's okay. Like, you have to save your seat. Now, I'm not saying don't go to the club, don't party, etc. right? You know what I'm saying? Because either way it goes, if I wanted to, I'll still go to the club. and just, I won't have no drink. I won't smoke. I'll just sit there and just look at motherfucker. And, and what's crazy, when you're on your spiritual awakening journey, that's how life will be. You are literally sober in a world full of drunkenness people. That's how it feels. If you walk into city, so go to Atlanta. That's exactly how it will feel. When you're in the city of Atlanta, you will see nothing but mindless zombies living their program life. Nothing but NPCs, not knowing they're NPCs, living their purpose, following their script. And they have no idea they're in a scripted movie. A scripted stage agenda called Earth, not knowing that it's Planet Kai. They tarnished our mother's name. Sad, pathetic. But yes, that's the crazy part. And then the thing is, the club scene, the party scene is so different now, you can get shot for saying hey to someone's bitch. It, imagine that. You can die. You can get shot in your head. You can get stabbed. You can get roofied. You can get, bro. There's so much crazy shit out here and people still go to these clubs and they still trust people from the club like they're your best friend. No, they are not your best friend. They're not. These things are placed 
has an agenda to keep us dumbed down and distracted from who you really are. So when you're when you're going home drunk, when you're going home high, you have no sense of self. You're controlled by a spirit. It's a spiritual warfare. So when you're going to the crib, you are controlled and possessed by these demons. So that's why you look at alcohol. That is a spiritual being. So when you're drinking, you know, say Don Julio, Patron, Hennessy, that's not you. Casamigos, that's not you. You are being controlled by a different being. So you have no sense of self. So if somebody wants to drag you out of a party and do whatever they want with you, you ain't gonna know till you wake up and they're asleep. You're gonna be like, whoa, I did this shit? Yeah, so think about it. And it's how you know this shits get deep. So let's say you with friends, right? You and you high, you blazed up, you have a perk, you have a zany, you doing, you drinking Casamigos Patron. At, at this point, for me, I'm so aware, like it doesn't matter if I if I took a shot of Patron or I smoke. For me, I'll be awake regardless because no matter how drunk my physical is, my spiritual is divine. So I'll be good regardless. I can take care of myself. But the thing is, some people don't know how to do that shit because you're not strong-minded. Not saying you, but the people in the back of the class who are asleep. So if you're asleep, these demons will literally possess your ass. It's a low vibrational entity. And these parasites will literally see you drunk. And then these demons will be like, oh yeah, we got a victim over here. And so knowing your friends, there are some friends who will let you go sleep with that man or that woman. And guess what? They'll be like, hey, just call me when you're done. Call me when you're back. They don't care about you. There are some people who will set you up for the kill. And that's just the most sad thing. In the, if, if, if your so-called friends do that, cut them off. Cut them off right now. They don't love you. They want to see you fall. They want to see you fail. And the thing is, they'll gossip about you behind closed doors. They'll talk about you. And when you're trying to find help, you have no one to call because you're scared of being judged. And you can't tell your parents because you're probably in college or you're probably in high school and you don't want your parents to judge you. And you don't want to go to jail or prison. So, and then the thing is, you could probably die. So, you have to be careful when you're doing this shit because this is hell. This is hell, my nigga. And then the, the music that you're listening to is if you just sit in the club in a, in a party atmosphere, you look around and the music dung loud, blasting your eardrums, you look around, people not doing shit with their life. They are literally sitting there holding drinks for one, hugging the wall, not hugging the wall, next to a thousand niggas. You with 80 niggas, not talking to no hoes, no hoes. Niggas are buying sex. Think about that. Of a lot of our brothers and sisters out here, they're buying sections to boost their ego, to make it seem like they're the big dog, the top dog. Who gives a fuck, my nigga? Who gives a fuck? Can you put this woman on game? Can you put this man on game? Can you simulate this woman's mind without the money, without all this designer, all these chains, all these cars and clothes? Can you put someone on game with how to escape the simulation? Can you help someone find God? Can you help someone fast can you help someone meditate can you help someone research their divine consciousness can you help someone better their life and get out the struggle most of them can't do that but of course they can tell you how to pop a, a zany a perk they can tell you how to find a plug they can tell you how to drink they can tell you how to fuck they can tell you how long they can fuck they can they're they gonna tell you how long they dick is pause they're gonna tell you how you know what I'm saying or how wet their coochie is and shit like that they're gonna tell you all the shit that you don't want to hear you physically don't want to hear that shit, but you're you're doing it because you're so accustomed to your environment, a low vibrational environment. So what will you do? You will go to that environment and you will thrive off of that. And you are not knowing that you're, you have your energy leached off of parasitic demons. These demons are leeching off of your energy because they see how bright you shine. And you know you're not meant to be there. That's why you have that gut feeling letting you, letting you know you should not be here. Why are you here? You can go, you can have a club in your house. That same trash ass music that gets played in the in the clubs and shit, the parties, you can have that shit on your phone. They had the same, all these DJs got the same playlist. Waka Flocka, um, what's the other song? They got Waka Flocka, they got Gucci Man, they got Young Dolph, they got Migos, they got Two Chains in there, they got Cardi B, they got Nicki Minaj, they're gonna have Sexy Red in there, they're gonna have Ice Spice. Like, you, you see how. And what's crazy, I'm not even in the club right now. I'm in my car chilling, but I can tell you what they gonna play. They play the same music everywhere you go. And you think that that shit lit. This is, it's on your, this is the club. This is on your phone and you're going to the club paying, paying 
to to do nothing. You're paying, you're wasting your hard earned money to do nothing. Think about that. You work dumb hard to go. You you work dumb hard just to waste it in a club that don't care about you. You got a party promote. You gotta have a party from a promoter promoting this club or this party, and you think it's gonna be lit. Oh, so and so gonna be here. So. If they are there, you will not miss out on shit because what are they doing for you? How will they benefit you? What are they gonna do? They gonna sit there with these, with these dark ass shades. You got shades on in the club at night. No sun, but you got shades on. Weird. But they gonna be sitting. So if you're famous, if you're a celebrity that you idolize and they're in the club, right? They're gonna be looking at, they're gonna be in the club just chilling with a section. They're gonna have fanboys, fangirls, like, Oh my God, it's really him, it's really her. Oh my gosh, my nuts are growing. Like weird fanboy activity. And the thing is, they aren't helping you how to grow. They ain't gonna put you on game. They're just like, oh, what's good? Trying to be all cool and shit. Nigga, you in this weak ass club that's down the street from my crib. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You are no better than me. So, and you a millionaire at that. Do something, do better with your life. But that's the thing, you gotta understand, these places are not meant for you. When you awaken, you have no business being there. You don't wanna smoke, because what, what do you gain from smoking? Nothing, you're just high. You're just high doing nothing. What do you gain from drinking? Nothing, you're not even yourself. You are controlled by parasitic demons that don't know that they are programmed by demons. And, and, and what's crazy, when somebody can't save you, what you gonna do? You're gonna be crying and begging for help, and nobody's gonna come save you. And then what you gonna do? Run a social media, thinking that somebody's gonna come save you, but all you're doing is posting your business online. This is why if you stay at home and you focus on you, you will have no issues with this underworld propaganda agenda. It's meant to distract you from who you really are. It's meant to strive you away from God. And I'm not saying don't go to the club or parties, but every weekend, every day, every month, what are you doing? What are you doing? All it is, you're trying to get somebody to come sleep with you at night and then what? Oh yeah, they're a distant memory. And it was crazy. These people are walking diseases. They have STDs and HIV and AIDS and chlamydia. They got gonorrhea. And then they won't tell you about it. So now when you sleep with them, guess who got it now? Yo stupid ass. But guess what? You're gonna be like, man, I wish I would've stayed home. Exactly. But how can you avoid it? How can you avoid that scenario? Staying your ass at home in the first place. If you would have stayed home, they would not have did that to you. And now you gotta go to the hospital and take these medications. And now you're putting your money in a pharmaceutical industry, witchcraft, placing your currency upon the masses. And guess what? These motherfuckers get rich off of all of this shit. They give us everything to destroy ourselves. It's a sad, cold world. You gotta start waking up. The club, you are not missing shit, I promise to God. So if you are younger than me or older than me, you are not missing shit in the club. You are not missing shit at these parties, these functions, these mansion parties. You are not missing shit. Because I promise to God, majority of you niggas that are gonna be at these parties and shit, you, you, all you're gonna do is have a cup and you're gonna be like, wow. As a matter of fact, no, 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 no. You're gonna be with your bros, with your cup in your hand or your blunt, you're gonna be like, look at all these hoes, man. Oh, her ass fat, bro. I know, right? Oh, yeah, I know that dude, bro. I follow him on social media. Oh, she looking short. She looking at me. Oh, what you gonna do with that? Man, she probably got a nigga. Go home. Go home, bro. Go home. Go home. Go to the crib. Go to the... Like, it, it, it's so... Like, if you... Oh, my God, bro. If niggas had a mirror... And they listen to what they said, and like, if you can see what you're doing, you look stupid. You look pathetic. And then these hoes know what y'all doing. And and then the, the women too, women. <laughs> they want they want y'all to, to uh, degrade yourself. These men won't protect you. So they they all they want to do is these niggas want to hook up with you, sweetheart. Don't waste your energy on these leeching ass niggas. They want somebody to protect to protect them and nurture them. These are feminine little boys. And y'all be going crazy over these niggas because you know them on social media, not knowing they're lame in real life. They have no motion going for themselves. Y'all going to the same ass party, but yeah, he got motion. No, he do not, sweetheart. No, he do not. And by you as a woman, you know better than that. To be hanging out with these lame ass hoes and these lame ass niggas, you know better than that. Don't be so don't be don't be shocked or phased by designer clothes, nigga. That shit not even meant for us. Don't be, don't be. 
Don't be shot by niggas with these weak ass chains and shit that they're getting off Timu. Like these niggas are buying four dollar chains and they're like, yeah, man, this Cuban link costs like five hundred thousand. No, it don't, nigga. You got it off of Timu. Stop, stop the cap, my brother and my sister. Stop the cap. Stop. You're lying to yourself. And then your dogs ain't gonna tell the truth either. Like nothing but this is nothing but blind leading the blind, man. End the day, take care of yourself. Stop celebrating in the club when you can have the club in your own crib. You can play the same music in your crib. You can have a JBL, stereo, whatever in your crib, and you can go crazy. You can have four of your closest people in your house, and y'all can go have, get lit, have fun. And what's crazy, you can be safe in your own house, in your own environment. But of course, you want to go to the club and be obnoxious and an idiot, by all means, do your thing. But don't be surprised when these weirdos are being weird to you. Don't don't be surprised. Don't judge them when you get in them. Yeah, don't don't judge them and don't bash them because they were weird to you. Because understand, you gave them the time of day, you gave them your attention, and you didn't have to, but you wanted to because you wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. I love you. Have a great day.